What's going on guys? It's the Fox and in today's video tutorial we're going to be updating Atmosphere. Uh, some applications got fixed. Your favorite application uh, got fixed for Tin. It is now working where you can actually open up the application and run it and do what you need to do in Tin. Uh, also the forwarders got uh, updated too. So if you have old forwarders, let's say for classic uh, files, and you have that forwarded with custom uh, splash screens, your forwarders are now working. I haven't tested themes. I don't use themes. I find them to be a, to be a pain to get working on newer firmwares, especially with newer firmware, sometimes they crash or whatever. So go ahead in the description and download my pack. After you download the pack, you want to extract it. I'll be back when that's done. Okay, like we always do, we want to copy and paste and override everything into uh, your SD card. Also, if you run into any problems where nothing is working or you get some kind of like weird uh, problem, please keep in mind this is still in beta. This is not the, like the final version of Atmosphere. So if you run into any weird problems, I highly recommend manually deleting stuff. I'll show you an example. Just match everything inside my pack on your SD card. Whatever you do, do not delete this folder and do not delete this folder. Everything will be broken 100%. So let's say we're having a problem. I'm not going to do it though. So what I'm going to do is I want to copy the file structure. Okay, see it says atmosphere, atmosphere, bootloader, bootloader, config, config, so on and so forth. You can actually manually delete the, fo uh, the folders then put on fresh files in case you run into any problems. I already uh, did a thorough test. I used a brand new card. I have no problems. Everything runs normally and works normally. So what we're going to do is just we're gonna, just going to copy and paste and override everything here. Um, after that's done, we need to update the loader. If you're coming off of yesterday's pack, you don't need to update the loader. But I'm assuming that you haven't updated your uh, loader yet. So we're going to go ahead and plug our loader into the computer. So I'll be back. Okay, the um, my files are still overriding on the uh, on the SD card. This is for the Atmosphere pack. So you just want to press replace all files. Always remember, guys, to copy and paste and override and press yes and press yes to all. Uh, I know certain computers say certain different uh, f phrases, but always copy and paste and override everything, and then you'll be all set, ready to go. So after this is done, I'm going to plug the loader into the computer. Okay, after you plug your loader into the computer, go on the root of my pack and you'll want to grab the payload.bin file. So right click, press copy here, open up atmosphere underscore Hikate, and you'll want to paste and override and replace. Okay, that's all done. So go ahead and turn the system on and I'll show you what to do from here. So go ahead and click on the launch function. You want to go ahead and click P offline. I'm not allowed to say that word, so go ahead and click the P offline. And from here, it's booting up. I'll be back when this is done booting up. Okay, what we need to do is update the uh, system firmware to 19.0.0. Like I said before, if you're already on 19.0.0, you don't need to worry about this. I'm just going to show you how to do it just in case you haven't done this before. What you need to do is you need to perform a title override over previously installed title. You want to hold down the right trigger, press A, then press A one more time. That will override it. You'll be in full RAM mode. Then you want to open up Daybreak. Then you want to go ahead and press install. I'm not going to install this because I'm already on it. I don't want to waste more time because it's getting late. So go ahead and press install. Then you want to go ahead and press the firmware. Go ahead and press continue. Click on preserve settings. Install FAT32 plus XFAT. I, I can no longer go from here, otherwise it's gonna start um, installing the firmware. Then just follow the on-screen prompt. If it asks you to shut down or restart your system, you can do whatever you like. I always uh, click on reboot, but I always recommend for everybody to do a shutdown, then turn it on, but you know, to each his own. Okay, after you do that, let's confirm that it updated to 19. And as you can see, we're on the latest firmware, 19 with 1.8.0, and E means Emunan and S means stock NAND. Everything's updated. I'm gonna go ahead and show you something. Your favorite application should run. Tin should run without a problem, and your forwarder should run without a problem. 
that's all custom stuff. You guys know what forwarders are. I'm not going to go into detail and explain what a forwarder is. Uh, that should be all set, ready to go. Uh, Retro Archer does work. I already tried it on here. I'll make another video on that some other time when I have some free time. That's pretty outdated. I'm going to go ahead and show you something just in case you get stuck with uh, with SIG, with, uh, SIG S-I-G. Okay, so let's go to the um, menu, the, you know, to get into the homebrew menu. We're going to be opening up an application called Edison. This is not necessary to do this. I already tried a fresh install and I didn't need to um, enable SIG. That's totally up to you if you want to enable it. You can go ahead and enable it, but for me, I didn't need to enable it. I don't know why. You're supposed to enable it for the SIG to work, but I have no idea why. So you want to open up this Edison, the one where the SE Edison, not this one. This one, I have older files on here in case you need them. So I'll be back. If this pops up to each zone, I don't use online services, so I'm gonna go ahead and press the skip button, but if you wanna update, you're more than welcome to if there's an update available. On your controller, you want to press the L button, and this will open up the menu. Okay. If you're having any problems with installing uh, files, you can go ahead where it says uh, SYS-PATCH. You can go ahead and turn that on. So you would just turn that on then from here you would exit and go ahead and install whatever you need to install. I haven't had any problems. Everything's all set, ready to go. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. Like and subscribe to the Fox Den. This is still the beta atmosphere. This is not the final version of atmosphere. Uh, we'll probably get that, I guess, in a week or so. He's still working on the files and whatnot. So after this pack that you update with, they'll pro there's going to be another pack, and there might be even another pack. I always try to stay update. You, I, I'm sorry. I always try to update you guys when the new packs come out. I know people accidentally update their systems, and they need that pack right away. So I try to drop the packs as fast as I can. Remember, guys, like and subscribe to Fox Den, comment, share. It helps the channel grow. I want to try to get to like uh, 2,000 followers soon. You know, we're very close to being up into at 2,000. I'll catch you guys later. Have an awesome night. Fox Den out.